Hey guys, so what we are going to be talking about in this video is the concept of factorials and the concept of recursion. So let's get started. So I'm going to first of all write the function and implement it and only afterwards I'm going to talk about it. So let's say we have some functions called factorial takes in some number n. Okay. If the number is less than or great uh, less than or equal to one, we return that number. Otherwise, we return the number times factorial of the previous number. Okay, now let's just make sure this runs. And let's do five. Factorial of five should give me um, 120. And you guys will see the results at the bottom. So let's give it a run. And I got 120. So let's talk about how this recursive solution works. So the basic theory behind this is f of 5 goes in. And it goes, hey, is f of 5, so basically factorial of 5, is that less than or equal to 1? So it does not match the code on line 2 and line 3. It goes past the if statement because it doesn't match that condition and then goes to the else. And then it says, well, I know what factorial of five is. That's just factorial, that's just five times factorial of four. So let's write that down. It goes, I know what factorial of five is. That's just factorial of five times factorial of four, okay? But factorial of four is another recursive call. And it goes, oh yeah, I know what factorial of four is because now, the call on line 9, which is uh, factorial of 5, it has to figure out what factorial of 4 is in order to actually compute this. So continuing on, factorial of 4 goes, yeah, I know what f of 4 is. That's just, and let's call it f here just to be consistent. Factorial of 4 goes, yeah, I know what that is. It's just um, 4 times factorial of 3, right, n minus 1, that's 3. Factorial of 3 goes, yeah, I know what factorial of 3 is. That is just 3 times f of 2, or factorial of 2. Factorial of 2 goes, yup, I know what that is. That's just factorial, uh, that's just 2 times factorial of 1. And now something special happens. And this is a concept that gets pretty much all programmers who are learning about recursion, uh, anybody who is trying to understand this concept. So let's break it down. So now is when the unwinding, is how I like to call it, begins. Okay. So now what happens is f of 2 figures out what itself is, and here's how. Because on line 12, if you can see, we have f of one, and f of one, when that function calls itself factorial of one, that goes back to the definition of factorial, and that goes, hey, am I one? And factorial, and then and that matches that if condition. It goes, yup, that's true, and is one, and then re returns one. So factorial of one is able to figure itself out because it has a base case. So let me go up top and write that down. The top is the base case. And then this is the recursive case, okay, that else statement. So that just goes, I have figured out what factorial of two is. That's just two times one. And that gives me back two. So that actually evaluates to a real number. And then factorial of three goes, great, I was waiting on you factorial of two, thanks for figuring out what two times factorial of one is. Now you can give me the information I needed. And what's the information that factorial of three needs? The information that factorial of three needs is what factorial of two is. So this will basically be three times well, factorial of two return two, so it just be three times two, and that returns six. Now we continue on, and we have factorial of four, and going, yep, I 
was waiting on you, Factorial of the Three. Thank you so much for figuring out that piece of information. Now, can you please give that to me? So we get four times six, and that is 24. And then lastly, our initial call that we made, which was waiting the entire time, it goes, now I know what factorial of four is, which is 24. And so now I just have five times 24, and this is, this returns 120. So here, answer is 120. And that's how we were able to figure out what factorial of five is. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys liked the video, please comment, like, or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.